All right, guys, what's up? This is uh, DM706. It's my gaming tag. Anyhow, so the other day, um, I brought a USB stick from a friend's house and stuck some data on it, and he has Windows 10. And so I formatted this stick, brought it to my Linux host, and uh, I plug it in, and nothing happens. I'm sitting thinking to myself, dude, what did I format this with? That's crazy. Or did it, just, like, fry in my pocket as I got as I, on my way home? Not at all. So... One thing that's actually been around for a long time that Microsoft apparently uses when you format USB sticks like this, right, is um, a file system called XFAT. And I'm not too familiar with it, to be honest with you. I do mostly um, NTFS or, or even FAT32 if it's a small enough USB stick. So anyhow, with NTFS, um, natively Ubuntu or something like that would be able to use the, um, the file system on that. So you just plug it in, it would mount automatically, right? Well, this drive, it doesn't mount. So at first I thought... Maybe there was something wrong with the stick, and then I was thinking, well, maybe I plugged in the wrong USB port, and then I thought, well, dude, how do I even see if it's plugged in? So we're going to simulate this really quick. I'm going to plug this in. It's formatted with XFAT. I don't have the XFAT stuff in there, so my computer's not going to mount it. It's not going to show up, right? But what I wanted to show you was quickly um, how you can tell what file system's being used. There's actually two ways. If you're doing a command line, the command line thing's pretty easy. Um, there's a product called, or a, a product a command line utility called LSUSB and it'll show you some of the stuff right so you can see some of the USB stuff attached to your computer so you can see a list here if you just do LSUSB it just shows your hub information for the most part um, if you do a dash T it shows you the tree and it kind of breaks it out and you can see right here this is the USB that I literally just plugged in and this 480 megabits is the um, performance that you are going to expect out of that particular device right so I plugged it into a USB 2 something instead of 3 I think 3 is faster than that I believe that's USB 2 don't quote me on that because I'm not sure so um, so that shows the the device is attached right but I'm still not seeing it mounted you, you can't actually browse it so what I wanted to do then also is show you in the GUI if you open the disk utility application you can see that it's right here right and this one's kind of nice because it'll actually show you the XFAT there's another utility in command line that you can show the XFAT as well, and that's um, FDisk. So if I do a show or sudo FDisk um, dash L for list disks, I believe that's what it means. You can see down here at the bottom, this is that same device, right? And it says it's XFAT. What's interesting is it also says NTFS. So it, that's a little confusing to me that it's going to be, you know, it can't be all three of them. I don't, I don't know what the deal is there. If this was indeed an NTFS volume, I could have just plugged it in. It would have just mounted it. So it's obviously not NTFS. I don't know what HPFS is, but I do know that for certain it is XFAT. And you can see it's the right size for that. That USB stick was 128 gigs, so that matches. But if you open the disk app in the GUI for Ubuntu, you can see the disks that you have on this computer, on your computer. And so you can see that I have that 128 gig drive here. It says Lexar USB flash drive. That makes sense. So if I go and try to mount this, what's it going to say? Nope, can't, right? Error mounting, unknown file system XFAT. So what you want to be able to mount that, there's two packages. You can install XFAT utils and XFAT fuse. And it's pretty easy to install. I like doing it on the command line. So we're just going to say sudo app install XFAT fuse and XFAT utils. And we're going to go ahead and let that get completed. And you don't need to reboot or anything. So immediately we have access to be able to use these XFATs. So you can either mount an XFAT. So you can either unplug it and plug it back in. It should mount. Or you can just hit this play button in the GUI. And now you can see that it's mounted. So that's how you mount XFAT on Ubuntu. It's pretty simple, I think. And you can you know do some device identification with the command line there. LS, USB, and FDisk-L. And it'll show your your uh, USB sticks that you may have attached, but are not mounting the file system because it's unformatted. Excuse me, unsupported on your um, client. So anyhow, thanks for watching.